Hi, my name is Lindsay Corbin and I'm going to give you a summary of some of the key points from the workshop that I ran for the uh, recent Women in Sports Governance Workshop. Firstly, where do you start? Uh, what you need to do is identify where your interest is. Is it in a national body or a regional body? And where do you find first-hand information? How can you use your network? Can you attend an AGN or use social network to find out more information? Also, at the same time, think about time involvements. How would a governance opportunity fit with your personal and career life? The next thing is, where do you find appropriate information? What websites should you tap into? Starting with Sport New Zealand, this website offers really good governance advice and tools and templates that you will find useful. Uh, if you look at Appoint Better Boards, they also um, advertise and recruit for both boards and candidates. And thirdly, have a look at the um, Ministry of Women's Affairs website as well. They offer an interesting approach to how you should build your governance career. Thinking about stepping stones, i.e. looking at positions with increasing complexity, or the other way is having a, a think about how you can transfer your good career technical skills into a board appointment. Thirdly, I think you should do your due diligence. Have a look at the Sport New Zealand website and they have a list of good questions that you should ask when you're investigating an opportunity. It could be to do with strategy, funding, finances, relationships, uh, how the board gets on. So do that work before you start. And finally, how are you going to present yourself? Commercial and not-for-profit boards often identify gaps on their board. It could be an expertise gap or it could be a diversity gap. So see if you can find out exactly what the board's looking for. The other thing is usually sports boards want to know about your interest or knowledge about the sport and possibly the specific sport. The next thing you have to get in line is your CV. You can use your standard CV but you need your governance information on the front page. Think about how you're going to present this. Three or four websites have very good templates, starting with Sport New Zealand, Ministry of Women Affairs and the IOD. The next thing is to think about if you're going to attend an interview, and it might be a networking interview or it might be actually an interview for a position, what you need to do before you go. Identify the key questions, do your homework and have questions ready for them. And finally, when you are thinking about this, identify where you're best fit, how you're going to describe yourself, who you should talk to, and good luck.